So, I think we gotta swing this around. When we're studying why the Greenland ice sheet is melting and contributing to sea level rise, we measure so many things at the ice sheet surface. We measure temperature, humidity, wind speed, radiation budget, all the things you can think of. But by contrast, we have very few observations of what's happening deep down in the deep ice, which affects how the ice is flowing into the ocean. It's got power. At this point, it's been literally years of developing, inventing the hot rod. From the first sketches on the back of napkins to the endless conversations and prototyping and building. And there are huge questions there about what is going on, why, where. It's science. It's supposed to be an experiment. There's no one is going to tell you that this is going to work. <laughs> okay, so first test. First test. A little too hot. It's hard to understand just how big and fast the sea level changes over the next century can be. We made a hole, we stuck a thermometer down, and the thermometer said it's this temperature. And when some other people did this 60 years ago, it said it's that temperature, and now that's changed. It shouldn't be about belief. It should be about understanding. Good morning, Casper. It's Liam. How are you doing? Our generator is not starting out here. Now we have something that's packed up and ready to take with us to the ice. When we turn that thing on, if it works and starts sending data back from the bottom of the ice sheet, it'll be big. 